Two dolphins, a mother and a baby, have been found dead in Elizabeth Quay. Tonight there's an investigation into what killed them. Locals believe sewage in the water could be to blame. Rebecca Johns, what are officials telling us? Tim, we don't know if the dolphins died of natural causes or if they were poisoned by something in the water. Let's say it's simply too early to tell. Today, dozens of people saw the carcasses floating in the river near the Elizabeth Quay Inlet here at this tourist hotspot. 30-year-old mother Pirelli and her seven-month-old calf, healthy and happy in the Swan River, often spotted close to shore, swimming together in and around Elizabeth Quay. Today, a shock for rivergoers, the pair found dead by passers-by. There was probably about 15 people on the bridge who have definitely seen it, um, and the ferry was coming in and out as well. Yeah, so to find out that two of them have now died, that's actually... Yeah, it's pretty devastating. Pirelli was found near the bell tower around lunchtime. An hour later, her calf at Elizabeth Quay. Emma Young was walking with her young daughter when she spotted the small carcass. Big surprise that dolphins are just such a gorgeous creature. For one to die at such a young, you know, a young age, it's just not nice to see. Local business owners say this could be to blame, a collection of sewage floating in the northeast corner of the quay. Last month, the MRA was forced to cancel a swimming event in the inlet after testing revealed high levels of faeces in the water. The Department of Wildlife says just over 30 dolphins live in the Swan River. It's not the first time questions have been asked. In 2009, six dolphins were found dead. Some suffered severe skin lesions. And late last year, another calf died of a mystery illness. And Beck wildlife experts will carry out autopsies on the dolphins to try to find out what killed them. Tim, Murdoch University researchers want to make sure no other dolphins in the river suffer an untimely death. They'll be analysing and testing tissue and organ samples from these dolphin carcasses, but it could be months before a cause of death is determined. Now, experts have told us it isn't uncommon for dolphins to die around the age of 30 and their calves can't actually survive without them. So for this reason, the water quality may not be to blame.